Before we get started in today's video guys, I just want to give a shout out to Ricardo Quinta. If you're watching this man, thank you. Thank you for showing me what life is. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zach Wattis and welcome to a very different video. Today we're taking a break from doing a reaction, but today we're going to be doing my first album review on this channel. I've decided that I'm going to try and do some reviews here and there on albums that I love, okay? So, as I said in the beginning, Ricardo Quinta, thank you so much. He put in a request for Shinedown's Boom Lay. Uh, or Diamond Eyes, and unfortunately it was blocked worldwide. And I really wanted to get a reaction out there because because of that video, these guys have become my favorite band at this point in time. So this album review is going to be of Shinedown's sixth studio album called Attention Attention, which came out four days ago, and I've been playing it non-stop since its release. The first track we get is about 40 seconds long. It's called The Entrance. It really opens up in like an industrial metal work kind of environment, you got a lot of metal banging, and then we get someone walking around um, into a room, opening a door, moving some stuff around, sits down into a chair of some sort, I'm assuming this person is Brent the vocalist, and then he takes a breath. Then we are immediately chucked into the world of Devil. But straight away you can know that this song is anthemic, it is going to be played in arenas and stadiums. The the chorus is really loud. The guitar and the bass throughout the track is deep and kind of just loud, particularly for the verses, it's more deeper kind of things. It's more dark. Uh, and then you get to the chorus and it's more loud, in your face, and it's a good fucking time. Straight away we get a hint at the vocals and what we can probably expect throughout the album. Brent's vocals are outstanding, as always. Um, this track shines through, man, it's fucking great. And uh, it also has one of the most memorable choruses that I've heard in a long time. You'll hear me repeat that a lot. And if I have to take anything from this song, I think it outlines the rest of the album. It's apparently a concept album dealing with your own demons and all that kind of shit and just trying to fucking get some positivity into yourself and stop not trying to be so negative and all that kind of stuff, you know? Now we move on to the third track in the album called Black Soul and this one was pretty surprising to me. A majority of it is like electronic leads. The introduction to the song is like like a synth, I guess, a keyboard. You know, you know what I'm talking about, it's more electronic um, driven, this track. The vocals are massive as always, um, the chorus is incredibly memorable. There you go again, I'm gonna put a little counter somewhere, to see how many times I say that. The chorus is great. Um, his vocal style is very good as well. There's a part in there that was like, I got a black soul, got a black axle. And that's just fucking cool. Get out. Uh, as for instrumentation throughout this track, it's amazing. Um, particularly through the choruses and stuff, it's very powerful, they're very loud, they're very thundering and kind of shit. The fourth track is the title track, Attention, Attention. And this is probably one of, if not my favorite track of the album. That's hard to say because there's a fuck ton of favorites on here. This is one of them. You start off with like a, an alarm going off, um, like a warning kind of thing, and then someone says, attention, attention. Kind of like the purge. You know how you have that speaker person saying on like, hey, you can kill anyone and you can't, you can, you don't get in trouble. You can fucking do whatever you want. So you hate that person, kill them. Don't care. Got that kind of feel, that ambient kind of voice. And yeah, that, that goes into it. The whole feeling of the track is dark. It's atmospheric in a way, um, particularly in the verses. And that brings me to an interesting point. He's also kind of rapping in a way, not like fluent rap, but I don't know. It's kind of rap, I'm gonna say that, all right? Much different than anything you'd expect and it works so well, it adds a whole new element to the track and I'm glad they fucking experimented with some shit. Now this track has the most catchiest chorus. Um, just the way it transitions from those weird dark vocals into this fucking positive, loud, have a fucking good time chorus, you know? Um, they've done it really well. It's seamless. I love it. Track 5, Cure Your Conscience. This is a track that isn't a favorite, but I still like it. I still enjoy it. I still don't really skip it. So I don't have too much to say about this. The instrumentation on this track is very well done. It's kind of weird to say, but it feels like the opening to this track sounds like something from 21 Pilots, from fucking Blurry Face. It sounds like that. I guess more like the track Fairly Local with the dark uh, drums, the, dra the dark synths and stuff like that. It kind of sounds like that. Um, but once the vocals come in, it's that's fucking disregarded. Um, 
but that's all I can really compare it to. Yeah, and as I said here, it starts off easy, like it starts off slower than uh, the other tracks in the album, sorry, and then as soon as that chorus hits, it changes to a fucking different song. The chorus is great, it is loud, just as a fucking majority of these are. They're loud, they're powerful, they're positive, and they're fucking well done. The instruments, as always, are fantastic. Up next, we've got Pyro. Pyro is probably one of my, it's becoming one of my favorites as well. The introduction to the song is piano, accompanying with a bass, um, or a kind of synth, and then there's also just pounding drums that go boom, 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 ow. Uh, this one is probably more of the rock and roll that everyone loves from Shinedown. This has got a fucking fantastic rock and roll feel to it. The vocals are fantastic. I love Brent's vocals. As for the vocals throughout this track, I believe that they are Brent's uh, best. He hits some pretty cool notes. He's got some melodies in there that are fantastic and a little bit of like electronic feel to them that just really makes it something special. Now we've got Monsters, this is track 7, and it's one of the slowest tracks, and in terms of verses and stuff, it's pretty slow, it's pretty easy going. You know, throughout the verses we get Brent accompanied with some guitars, not a whole lot of percussion throughout this whole fucking track. Don't get me wrong, there is percussion, there is percussion, but there's no like proper drums, you know? That's good, I don't think there needs to be in this kind of track, it's very well done. You know, but like I said, um, the verses are easy going and a majority of the song is easy going, but the choruses themselves, separately, individually, are launched into fucking an abysmal, fun, loud fucking time. <laughs> Not to mention that this song also has a fantastic guitar solo, and like I said, you know, Brent's vocals on this whole album are fantastic. There's nothing that I don't like, but his vocal range and the harmonies behind his vocals are fantastic, and they add just a whole fucking lot to the song, and it's very well done, as I'm gonna say a fucking ton of in this video. Next up we have Dark Side, um, and this track is very groovy, it's very hard hitting. Um, this is one you can easily tap your foot along to, bang your head to, um, you can fucking do this if you want. That's a good time. Now I'm not too sure if it's just me, but throughout the song, I don't know if it's just harmonies or the way they've harmonized his vocals in the in the choruses or maybe even verses or pre-choruses, or they've added some kind of effect, but it like it sounds a bit like a robot in the background. Um, it's very hard to very hard to talk about without fucking showing you guys um, the track itself, but you guys can also, you know, fucking I'll put the link down in the description, go check out the album. Also throughout the verses as well, if you listen a bit closely to the guitar, you can see it's a bit heavy, it's pretty heavy driven, which really works well with his um, vocals, transitions very well from those verses to the dark and heavy fucking shit. Coming in at track 9 we've got Creatures, which is probably the slowest track in the album. The track Creatures features some of my favourite vocals from Brent. You know, as in the pre-chorus and even the chorus itself, his voice shines through. It's fantastic. He He's basically yelling and it just sounds fucking great. I love his vocals, man. And again, this one has a fantastic chorus, a great big chorus filled with fucking instrumentation um, that's very well structured, very well put together, works so well together um, and it makes for a fucking good time. Also, this song features a fantastic guitar solo towards the end of the song. Um, it's very well done. It's very electronic as well, but it doesn't take away any element of the song. It's fantastic. Um, they did good with that one. Coming in at track 10, we have Evolve. This track is the fucking heaviest track on the album. It's fantastic. It's pure rock and roll throughout the verses. The vocals are almost fucking haunting that they're that good. For me, in this song, the guitar is the most standout thing in the track. Um, it's heavy, it's fucking, I don't know, it's just, it's just there. It's, <laughs> it's loud, it's fucking in my brain. I love it. Next, we have Get Up, and this is probably my number one favorite song, if I've got to say anything. Um, it does sound a bit mainstream. This is a track that has been getting a bit more criticism than others, just because it sounds like it was made for radio, you know? It's got those elements in there that would appeal to fucking mainstream radio and all that kind of stuff. I never think of that, you know? It fucking just sounds great. It's it's really well done. Um, the structure and the formula of the song is spot on. Also, once again, features some of my favorite vocals from him, even though it's got a bit of auto-tune at some points. They're my favorite parts, you know? The way that they've put them together is fantastic. 
throughout the verses you're able to hear Brent singing along to a piano um, for quite a while and then suddenly a fucking acoustic guitar joins in and just adds a new fucking layer onto this fucking track and this album as a whole. What's very different about this song and sets itself apart from other ones in the in the album is the spoken bridge or the spoken part of the song. I'm not exactly sure if it's a bridge or if it's a break or something like that, but there's a spoken part by Brent in there that's very different. And then it also just fucking triggers something emotionally and you're like, fuck, this is deep as shit. It's got choir backing vocals and they're fantastic. I love it. Um, just everything in this fucking album is well done. They've taken the time out to put fucking work into it so it's not all just rushed and all that. They've structured it out. They've put, they've put specific formulas in specific ways to make songs fucking work. Human Radio is the 13th track on the album, the second to last song on the album, and this one is possibly my least favourite, but do not get me wrong, I still love it. It's just a bit down um, in terms of fucking everything, you know? Um, this one has more kind of electronic vocals um, and elements to it. As always, as I'm going to say to every track in this album, the instruments, track by track through the whole album, tr the instruments are fantastic. They've, they're all well done. Um, they all serve their purpose. They all stand out from one another and everything but like I said there's something about it that just doesn't really do it for me to push it up into the top fucking one or top fucking three or some shit closing the album we have brilliant this track is brilliant <laughs> but like what can I say what a way to end an album this is probably the most memorable track on the album this is the one that I sat down and listened to when I was listening to the album and upon first listen it blew me the fuck away okay I listened to it and I was fucking like a fucking balloon that you blow up and let go and it fucking spins around the fucking room doing tornadoes and shit that was my brain listening to this album and this track itself it's fantastic it's really well done it starts off very slow um kind of like a ballad i guess a minute or so into it i'm not too sure suddenly you get some fucking guitar and you're like what the fuck is going on in my life right now and then fucking bam cunt brent's vocals come back into it repeating the same line from the beginning of the song except faster um and then fucking shine down his back bitch um, fucking drums come in. Drums are the most memorable part of the song. They're pounding, they're energetic, they're loud as shit. This one for me is one of the most catchiest songs on the album, and I wonder how many times you've heard me say that, but this is fucking catchy as shit. You know, from that one moment of the beginning of the song where it's a bit slow, until that moment where the fucking guitar comes, till the end of the track, this song is a non-stop thrill ride. Quite repetitive, but it's fucking well done. It's inbreded in your head. And then what's also interesting is to wrap up this concept album towards the end of the song, um, well, I mean, at the end of the song, you fucking idiot. Brent, the vocalist, leaves the area he came in on the first track, The Entrance, where he sat down and took a breath. This time, he gets off out of the chair, walks out, and says, Till next time, um, which is fucking everything. But yeah, um, as for my fucking rating system, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to fucking rate albums, um, but I'm going to do 1 to 10, and this one is a, is a fucking 10. 10 out of 10, it's fantastic. I'm going to buy it straight away, um, and I say that, and it's been out for four days, and I haven't bought it, but I'm going to buy it when I can, and when I find it in store. Do yourself a favor. If you haven't heard Shine Down, go and check out their previous albums, um, particular Sound of Madness. This album has been also been playing non-stop. It's fantastic. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see everyone in the next video.